<coughs> Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. I just want to share with you uh, my visit to Hyde Park recently, the last few days. I'll just tell you my thoughts about my visit to Hyde Park. And um, just what I thought. You can get me on Twitter, Facebook and JasonBurnsPreacher.com Well, the visit to Hyde Park was um, interesting and um, I enjoyed it and I want to share with you my thoughts about it. Hope you're okay. Hope everybody's okay out there. So God bless you. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to uh, Brother Gareth and also uh, Brother Mike. Uh, they were tremendous. They, they really worked as a team. Uh, it, I'm just quite touched actually. They, they, they really looked after me and made sure I was okay. But it's not about me. Um, it's about all of us as a team. And we all had something to contribute. We all had something to add to the day. And it, it, it was a really good day where we all worked as a team. And I needed their help, uh, particularly in some of the debates that I had. Uh, I needed them to stand around and support me. And also, I needed them around when there were big crowds, when I was preaching. Um, I needed their support. So... So thank you to them. They were great. They were they were amazing. So thank you so much. Um, my my initial thoughts. Uh, first of all, we had a really nice chat with Hatu. Uh, we sat down on the grass in the middle of the day. We had a rest. Well, 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 let's start at the beginning. We set off from Manchester. Um, two in the morning. We got the coach at half past three. Mega buzz. It's like having a baby. <laughs> it really, really is like having a baby. I, I you're like, oh, there's no, uh, there's just no way of relaxing on mega buzz. So we get down there. We got down there about eight o'clock. Uh, we went in a coffee bar. We had a drink. We had a bit of a rest. Uh, then I went to. Uh, McDonald's and just had a bit of a sleep for half an hour and uh, just a bit of a rest there the guys went out uh, doing a little bit of uh, evangelism and then um, I think I, I caught up with the lads about 11 o'clock in Hyde Park I get there there wasn't many in Hyde Park. No, I think about half ten. There wasn't many there. Straight off the bat, some atheists came up to me. We had a chat. Um, he was not really sincere. We answered his questions. Uh, Mike uh, uh, was challenging a Muslim guy on the stepladder. And uh, we, we got into the flow of the day. Um, the good thing is, all of us... As a team, we didn't waste our time much with those who were not really interested. I think we, we had a few conversations but with people who were not really interested, but generally we didn't waste our time with people who were not interested. Um, we stood up to those who were challenging the faith um, and we made people think. Um, there was quite a bit of preaching. And through that, we got quite a few conversations. Um, like I said, me, Mike and Gareth worked well together, always looking after each other, supporting each other. Um, what else was there? Uh, then, <clears throat> about uh, early afternoon, uh, we sat on the grass just to have a rest. And uh, had to... What was it? No, no, it was late afternoon, sorry. Early afternoon, we, I went to uh, round about uh, one o'clock. I went, f the guys went for the dinner, then I went for my dinner. I went to McDonald's, I had about three quarters of an hour there. I had a good rest. 
and then came back into the flow. When I came back, I was preaching a bit, and I, and it, I had some big crowds. And the guy mentioned that it was a it was a joy to see the crowds, and uh, we got the gospel out. They couldn't answer the questions I was putting to the Muslims. I was able to talk to quite a lot of young Muslims. Um, then we had a, a break, and uh, late afternoon, Hatoum uh, came and sat with us uh, of DCCI, and we had a really good conversation with her. It was really nice, and I think we as a team really appreciated the chat that we had with her, so that was really good. Um, then later on, I had a debate with Lamin, Mah Lamin Mohammed or Mohammed Lamin. Uh, I really enjoyed the debate, I uh, had all my information there, all the stuff was there in my hands, scholarship on the Quran, uh, and God just helped me to knock it out of the park, I just give all the scholarship, and he was just waffling on about scripture contradictions in every section of the debate, and he really, and I answered some of the questions that he was saying about the Bible, I, I couldn't answer them all because he said so many, but I answered some, and uh, but all the scholarship that I was giving, he just couldn't deal with it. He just couldn't answer it. It was just, it was just, uh, it was just too above him really. And then um, we had a bit of drama at the end. Uh, our, our camera cut out near the end of the, just near about five to ten minutes near the end of the debate. But anyhow, their cameras were still rolling. And uh, I let him have the last five minutes because I had I started at the beginning, and then he went on and on and on and on. So I caused a lot of drama. Uh, I I pretended to cry. I wasn't crying, but I just caused a lot of drama. I thought, right, I'm going to cause a lot of drama. We'll get a lot of attention for these videos, and a lot of traction coming back to my website through this. So I thought, this is this is this is what you're going to get for cheating. So Lemon cheated, he went on and on and on after the five minutes and I caused a lot of drama about it because I was really upset for him because I, he was a nice person and um, to do what he did cheating I was very upset about that because I was disappointed for him I thought he could have been uh, a much nicer person and a future apologist of better quality but unfortunately he descended into into kind of a, um, Al Capone apologetics really so but the debate went really well generally in, in the debate and I think I was able to expose the Quran as not being the Word of God on manuscripts and all sorts of issues etc um, we got the coach back about 11 o'clock and we got home about 3 o'clock 4 o'clock uh, the lads kept slept here till about nine. They had a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and they left about ten o'clock or quarter to ten. It's very tiring. It took us a day or two, all of us, to get over because we were very tired. Um, but generally, um, a couple of things that I noticed down there, there were huge numbers of Muslims, absolutely huge numbers. And I just wondered what the future of Hyde Park is. Secondly, I felt that the way that, that, that Hyde Park was very volatile emotionally. There was a lot of people getting angry, losing their temper. And uh, I felt that if that continues, uh, then it's going to end the park. The park, Hyde Park's going to get shut down if it continues like that. Uh, thirdly, there's been a bit of controversy concerning um, concerning uh, jihadism in the park. There have been young people that have been converted to Islam and then gone on to be radicalised and then they've been caught by the police. Uh, Muslim apologist Paul Williams has complained to some of the Muslim apologists that they're ISIS supporters and he's been kicked off blocks. Muslim blogs and Muslim uh, media platforms for, for calling his Muslim fellow apologist in Hyde Park out. And it makes you wonder 
are we really safe when we're actually down there preaching because there are people who are ISIS supporters and sympathizers down in that park so it makes it a quite a volatile situation and I think people need to be aware of this and people need to be uh, a bit more uh, vigilant in making sure that they're safe uh, in Hyde Park. Um, it was good to see uh, a variety of Christians there, DCCI, Bob the Builder, and there were other Christian street preaching as well. It would be nice to see Christians going down, filming the preachers. So that would be a good thing if people could do that. Secondly, it would be a good um, that there would be more uh, working together uh, as groups because every group seems to do their own thing. DCCI do their thing, Bob does his thing, we do our thing. Uh, Hatsum has encouraged us to, to join them at dinner, so that's good. So it'd be nice if, if from time to time people could get together, street preachers, evangelists, and different ministries and just encourage each other, support each other, maybe go for dinner, etc. That would be really good. Um, and that's it really. Uh, it, 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 I enjoyed the day. Uh, pray that we sow some seed that people get saved uh, but it was a very tough environment and uh, one brother uh, was walking around praying for the park and he was walking around praying and I think a lot, if you've been watching the debates at Hyde Park etc I think one thing that we could all be doing at the moment is just praying spending a lot more time praying about Hyde Park because it's very much dominated by Muslims and how to break that domination I think the only way we can break it is by prayer so we need to pray and uh, we need to put Hyde Park as a priority of prayer uh, on our prayer list so please be praying for Hyde Park so that's it really um, yeah so check out the debate with the Lamen Mohammed, it's very entertaining. Uh, I think there's three sec, there's three YouTube channels with the debate. There's my channel, which only has, uh, it has most of it, but 10, 15 minutes missing of it, because ours cut out. Uh, there's SD Dower, I think. Uh, they have most of it, but they've cut out the drama bit which I'm pleased because that shows that they're being objective so I'm really pleased about that and then there's Lament's channel where he's got all the bits, the proper debate and the drama which shows that he's very very biased so, so but check it out you'll enjoy that so thanks for all your support and thanks for all your encouragement and I wish you all the best uh, uh, if you're in Hyde Park I love you all, praying for you all and God bless you, take care Keep close to the Lord. God bless you.